Hello comrades, and welcome to Juche Lessons. In this episode, we will be discussing the fundamental principle of Juche philosophy. Humanity is the master of everything and decides everything. General Secretary Kim Jong-il once said, quote, The Juche idea raised the fundamental question of philosophy by regarding humanity as the main factor and elucidated the philosophical principle that humanity is the master of everything and decides everything. End quote. This is the basic principle of the Juche philosophy, and on the basis of this principle, the whole systems and contents of the Juche philosophy are evolved. The fundamental principle of Juche philosophy, that humanity is the master of everything and decides everything, gives an answer to the relations between the world and humanity in two aspects. One aspect is that humanity is the master of everything, and the other is that humanity decides everything. So let us look at these two aspects closer. Firstly, humanity is the master of everything. People use the word master in various meanings in daily life. For example, it is used to mean the owner of things or one who is responsible for a certain thing and servants called their employers masters. Thus, the word master has a broad meaning that can express relations of social life, including the relations of ownership and social position. But the word master is not used in its general meaning when the Juche idea claims that humanity is the master of everything. The word master in the Juche idea is the philosophical concept that expresses humanity's position and the relations between humanity and the surrounding world. To quote General Secretary Kim Jong-il again, quote, that humanity is the master of everything means that they are the master of the world and their own destiny. That humanity decides everything means that they play the decisive role in transforming the world and in shaping their own destiny." End quote. In other words, humanity lives not to be bound to the surrounding world, but dominates the world according to our independent requirement and will. There are many material beings in the world, but none of them lives dominating the surrounding world. Even a lion, known as the king in the meadow, is not a being who lives dominating the world. Although the lion eats other animals freely, it maintains existence as a species living by adapting itself to the giving environments, not dominating and reshaping the world. In other words, the developed animals and the natural world are beings that live by adapting themselves to the given environments. Humanity is a highly developed product of the material world. We are not subordinated by the world, but dominate the world according to our will and requirements. And only humanity lives while dominating the world according to our will and requirements. And humanity's position as the master of the world is ceaselessly developed through the historical course as we discussed, of course, in our second episode. Humanity dominates the world through the struggle that continues generation by generation. Humanity lives not to be bound to the world, but ceaselessly expands the sphere of domination and transformation of the world according to their will and requirements. And in this sense, Humanity is the master of the world. Next, humanity decides everything. That humanity is the master of everything shows our position in the world, whereas that humanity decides everything 
shows our role in the change and development of the world. And it means that humanity plays the decisive role in transforming the world and in shaping our own destiny. Several factors are acting in developing things and phenomena, but the role is different. There are factors that affect more in the development of things and phenomena, and factors that affect less. As is the case also with the development and transformation of the world itself. For example, there obviously needs to be necessary material and technical means in order to transform nature. Activities such as damming up the sea and widening the land could hardly be done by bare hands. So clearly the material and technical means are necessary in transforming nature. Thus, the material and technical means play an important role in transforming nature. But since these material and technical means are themselves developed by humanity, it is humanity that plays the decisive role in transforming the world. However big a role the material and technical means play, it is thus incomparable to humanity's role. Humanity has ceaselessly transformed and developed the surrounding world onto a higher plane with our strength and wisdom in the historical course of transforming the world. In this sense, humanity plays the decisive role in transforming the world. And it means that we play the decisive role in shaping our destiny. The destiny of humanity is shaped in the course of transforming the world. And humanity plays the decisive role in transforming the world. Therefore, there can be no other beings that can decide humanity's destiny in the world. It is decided by how actively mankind transforms the world. The fundamental principle of the Juche philosophy that humanity is the master of everything and decides everything is an accurate and revolutionary philosophical principle that correctly reflects the real world where humanity lives. Humanity is the only dominator in the world, and the world is more and more transformed by humanity. In the process of interaction between humanity and the world, there are active actions that humanity gives to the world, and also the influence that the world exerts on us. But the main factor is the positive actions that humanity gives to the world. By humanity's positive actions, the unfavorable influence that the world exerts on humanity is surmounted and favorable conditions and environments are made. Thus, the world is transformed and developed by humanity. The fundamental principle of the Juche philosophy is a revolutionary philosophical principle that shows us the way of shaping the destiny of humanity. In the past, destiny was understood in the same manner as the words fatality or fortune. As a result, it was not regarded as the subject matter of science, but had been discussed virtually only in the superstition and religious faith. The Juche idea defines destiny as people's status, prospect, life, and death, and raised it the most important question of human beings from the starting point of the philosophy. Humanity should shape their destiny independently and creatively, as is clarified by the fundamental principle of the Juche philosophy. The fundamental principle of the Juche philosophy clarifies the viewpoint on the destiny of humanity and the basic method of shaping the destiny of humanity. This is why we say the fundamental principle of the Juche philosophy becomes a revolutionary principle that genuinely serves the popular masses.
Human history is the history of shaping the destiny of the popular masses. By conquering nature with our creative labor and transforming society with ceaseless revolutionary struggle, the people will shape our destiny successfully. That's all for this episode, comrades. Check out our Facebook and Twitter pages for more Juche and DPRK content, which I will leave links to in the description of this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please remember to like, subscribe, and share so we can raise the revolutionary consciousness of the masses. And because I run solely on your motivation and encouragement. Red salute, Juche comrades.